Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks in Shandalar. Yeah, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Let's boot it up. Here we go. The magical sound. And um, last week we went in the dungeon. We got the mana link. But as you remember, probably I got kicked out of the dungeon. The positive news though is that I think my mono green deck did really, really well. So I'm going to continue with the mono green deck. Try to tinker it a bit. And I'm just going to try to get a lot of dungeon clues today. I think this session today is all about getting dungeon clues and finding actually white amulets. I think I have no white amulets anymore, so I need to find those. That's really important. Maybe free some cities too, who knows? Uh, but before I jump into another session, first a message from our fantastic sponsor, 3 for 1 Trading. 3 for 1 Trading is one of Europe's leading Magic the Gathering retailers. Their online shop has a fantastic selection of high-end Magic cards, especially for vintage, legacy and, yes, yes, old school Magic players. They now exclusively offer my community free, fully insured and fast worldwide shipping on all their high-end singles, full sets and out-of-print sealed products. They upload new cards every Wednesday and have weekly sale offers and reductions waiting just for you. Use my code TIMMY to get free worldwide shipping on your first order over $500 or euros. Have fun ordering those cards and thank you 341 Trading for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's jump in, shall we? Timmy goes green. We're back. Um, You know what? I'm just gonna duel. Why not? Let's turn the volume off a little bit. Duel the Forest Dragon. I believe I'm still on a mono green, exactly. Okay, not the best hand. I've got a lot of forests, a sylvan, and a giant spider. Ooh, there's an asp. What to do, or go for the sylvan, or go for the asp. I'm gonna go for the asp, because now it still has some kind of value. You know, as soon as he starts playing creatures, it's gonna get tougher to get the, the asp through in damage. Mm. <clears throat> Sorry, so, ooh. drinking water by the way. I ran out of coffee, no beers. <coughs> I need to go to the shop. Um, okay, we're gonna attack first. <coughs> Here we go. Look at that. He's got a counter. This makes me really want to play with my asps in real life as well. I think I've got a play set. Anyway, passing the turn. I think I said that last episode as well, but the Asp is quite nice with like Winter Orb. Wall of Brambles, that's annoying. Oh, I'm forgetting to use my Sylvan. Okay, next, next turn I'm gonna use my Sylvan. I gotta remember to use the Sylvan. Untamed Wilds, okay. Gonna get an extra land. So the Wall of Brambles is a 2-3 with regeneration. Fast effects active. Fade draw a card. Use Sylvan. Um let's see, put back the giant growth. And I'm gonna pay four life for the thicket. Um, okay, let's go forest, and then I'm gonna play Thicket. You know, Thicket Basilisk, actually the effect doesn't work on walls, so yeah, this is not great. I guess I could attack with the Asp, put a Grove on it, but he's just gonna regenerate, so it's not really worth it. At least next turn I've got an attack with the spider and the thicket together. Can deal some damage. Oh, crawl worm. That is really good. Um oh again forgetting the Sylvan. I'm so annoyed with myself. Um I'm just gonna, let's see what he does, because I've got the Giant Grove, so I'm not too worried. Exactly, so Giant Grove on the spider. 
I still don't have a crawl worm, by the way. I don't know if you remember episode one, but I said, I want to play with crawl worm and I still have zero crawl worm. So maybe in this game, if I win it, I'm going to get a crawl worm. I hope. I still want to make like a deck with force of nature, crawl worms, like war mammoths, a little bit of ramp with elves. Okay, there's a thicket. Hmm, again, forgetting the Sylvan. I'm so bad at this game. Um, what to do? I think I'm just gonna attack with both. And if he blocks the, um, the thicket on the spider, look, I'm gonna do giant growth. Then at least I'm trading the spider for the, uh, for the thicket. I don't know, maybe this, I guess it would have been better to attack with the Asp, actually. That would have been a better deal. Oh, Cockatrice, of course, a Cockatrice. Yeah, we're gonna use, let's see, put back. What are we gonna put back? Um, This one. Uh-oh, it's not looking good for me. Let's go script sprites. Mm. Gotta pass, I don't really have a good attack. This cockatrice is a problem. Hmm. Gonna take the damage. I wonder if I can use Sylvan in a way that I can look three cards deep, as the card is intended to do. No, like if I do this, then I can't even... Hmm. I am in big, big trouble, because there's another Cockatrice, so I'm going to take four next turn. Ah, uh, this is bad. I think I'm going to lose this one. I mean, I'm still on 12. I got like a couple of turns. Maybe I can jump with the sprites. Uh, I feel like I should have played maybe a little bit more, um, you know, uh, defensively instead of offensively with those giant groves. Take the damage. Aye, aye, aye. At least I can now deal one damage back with the sprite. Maybe. Let's go Sylvan. Activate Sylvan. Boot back. Forest, put back forest, draw forest. Okay. That is bad. I'm uh, gonna attack with the sprites. Why not? I'm a little bit, I'm heading towards desperation mode because he's now gonna attack again. I'm gonna drop to four, meaning next turn I got a chump. I got nothing. I got nothing going for me. And I still don't understand the Sylvan. I should look two cards deep. Draw two cards and choose any two cards in your hand drawn this turn. Uh, whatever. Um, Dervish. Okay, next turn I'm going to do the Alpha Strike. This turn I'm going to chop with the Sprite, so I will go to two. Done. Yep, dropping to two. <laughs> oh man, this is not a good start of our campaign. Forgetting the Sylvan, of course. And now I'm gonna go for the Alpha Strike. Why not? Who cares? Let's go. Okay, he's gonna take some damage, pass the turn. Let's play the Sandstorm just because we can. And then we're gonna lose the game. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, losing a Dervish? 
Man, that's not cool. Um, let's check out our deck. I'm gonna take out the Sandstorm. What can I put in? Well, of course, I took out the Ocean Soldiers because I was going, they're pretty good. Let's put the Ocean Soldiers back in. The Ocean Soldiers. I like Yoshin Soldiers, I think they're pretty good. Um, what to take out though? I think I'm gonna take out a Sprite, although yeah, let's take out a Sprite. Begin a quest. Defeat the Summoner, no thank you. Leave the village, travel east to Sephir Oasis, where's that? East. Uh, Sephir Oasis. Oh, that's over there. I could go there. You know what? Let's go there. Let's let's collect that. Duel the Tusk Guardian. Okay, at least I'm winning. Okay, I've got like an asp. That's good. A planes. Playing a planes. <laughs> of course. Um Do I want to use my giant growth on the wolves? That's the question. Hmm. I think I do actually. Maybe it's a bit soon and I should be more like keep my growth for better options, but I think it's good. Look, no creature, I can keep playing aggressively now. So because of that growth, I can now go in for three. You know, that's the other side of the coin. Bring it on. There we go, put him on 13. What I'm scared of are Sarah Angels. I like my biggest concerns. Um, I'm gonna, or should I play Spider instead? Um, I'm just gonna attack with this one and play Spider. We'll have to wait and see. Ay ay ay, so many forests. Drowning in forests. I mean, is am I playing with too many lands? I don't think so. I think it's part of the mode because I'm playing hardest mode that sometimes it's just only gonna give you lands or not gonna give you lands at all in other games. I mean, I can't complain because my opponent is doing nothing. But look at that, even more lands. This is ridiculous. I'm so land flooded. I mean, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight forests in total. And I only play with how many? 14, 13 forests. Pass turn. Another, f can you, I mean, my opponent's doing nothing, so I can't complain, but this, my draws have just been forced, 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 that's it. Hey, winning, a desert twister. You know what, I'm going to take the dungeon clue, because we're going to go for dungeon clues today. East of Shale Cliff Forge, okay. East of Shale Cliff Forge. Undead Knight, okay. Duel the Undead Knight. Play first. Uh, start the duel. Okay, let's see what we got. We got an Asp, we have a Giant Grove, a Yoshin Soldier. I'm liking this hand because I can go Asp. If he, if he gets a blocker, I can attack with Giant Grove up. I can play Factory. Turn three can go Yoshin. I mean, this deck really needs some good uh, two drops. 
Like the Whirling Dervish that I just lost is a really good two drop. Okay, so next turn Yoshin, turn after that. Oh, Spirit Shackles. That's not great. Uh, that means I can no longer attack with the Asp, because as soon as I attack, it gets tapped, it gets a minus O, minus two counter. What I like about Spirit Shackle, by the way, is it's a counter. Like minus O, minus two counters. How many minus O, minus two counters are there? You know, <laughs> cards that can do that. I don't think a lot. Like the art as well. Look a cool dude with the shackles. Anyway, passing the turn. Hopefully next turn I can swing in with the ocean. At least deal some damage. Ooh, another Spirit Shackle. Spirit Shackle Tribal. Uh, let's see, what is Wisdom? I think I'm just going to go for War Mammoth. And I'm going to attack with the Yoshin. Oh, he doesn't tap, of course, so he doesn't get... <laughs> this is the worst card computer to Spirit Shackle, really. Am I playing against the Undead Knight, I think? Um, okay. Look at that three giant gross in my uh, in my hand. Wait a minute, I can can I win already? Um I can attack two five six. I think I can win. Okay, let's do change to assembly worker. Bay one. Because we want to keep the green open for the giant gross. Now we're gonna attack. You know what? I'm going to attack with the snake as well. But just do it. Why not? Snake's going to die. Then I'm going to play a giant growth on this one. And a giant growth on this one. Hey, there we go. Take the dungeon clue. Ooh, Black Lotus and a workshop. And Ancestral Recall, but I'm not going to play blue today, so... Uh, North of Allure and Holt. Or, I mean, I'm not going to play blue this whole season, this whole Chandelier run. Anyway, let's go here. Buy cards. Ooh, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. I think I could start using vices, man. Take this message east to my brother. He will reward you with a mana link. Okay. Sarmal's Shrine. Where is that? I have to go to Shellcliff Forge, I think, right? Oh, here's the shrine. Okay. Oh, Zephyr Oasis. That was where the world enchantment was. Okay. Um, buy some food. Are there any cards I can sell? I don't think so. Oh, wow. Look at all these red cards. I have, duh, red. I play red. Um, okay, so I got to go here. That's on my way to Zephyr Oasis anyway. So I'm going to go to Zephyr Oasis. Ooh, I want to get this. Give me white amulets, Abu Jafar. Okay, sure. Buy cards and hints. If you combine this Merc Dweller with the Dwarven Warriors, you can allow the Merc Dweller to attack unblocked and gain a plus two plus O until the end of the turn. Yep. Yeah. Merc Dwellers is pretty cool. Onulet, I'm tempted to go for Onulet. Life gain is pretty good in this game, I feel. I'm gonna buy the Onulet. Speak to the wise man. If you seek the mana link, okay. I know, I gotta go further down to get the mana link. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sephir Oasis I gotta go to. But if I wanna buy... If I see you have not yet defeated the green wizard, he has 45 lives in his stronghold. Okay. Gonna sell this. Gonna sell the Chaos Lace. Gonna sell the Golem. I mean, when are you gonna use that Golem? Um, not really anything else that I can sell, is there? Mountains, only that. I mean, you can sell the planes. I'm not gonna play with those colors anyway. Um, 
Don't really see anything else to sell right now. Um, let's go to the Sephir Hole. Undead Knight. Okay, change anti-card. Okay, let's do it. Oh, he wins the toss. Okay, start the duel. Thicket, forest, forest, giant spider, giant spider, giant growth, cockatrice. Okay, so no one drop. That is annoying. Yeah, this is one of those hands. If I don't draw lands, I'm pretty, you know, it's pretty bad. But if I draw lands, and my opponent doesn't do much, I'm fine. <laughs> Another giant growth. Uh, remember the last game where I was mana flooded, and now we've got this game? Oh! This is the thing, you know, you get mana flooded one game, then mana screwed the other. This is tough. Let's just hope that uh, the knight is not going to play anything out. Don't do it, knight! A zombies, okay. That's not great, but not the end of the world. Mm, I got a discard. I mean, I want to keep Tranquility, because maybe he's going to play Bad Moons. Um, I'm going to discard a giant spider. If I just have one land, you know, here we go. There's the bad moon. There's the bad moon. So let's hope for me that I'm going to get a, a land. If I get one land, I can go Yoshin Soldier. Oh, the drudge. Ay, ay, ay. I need a land. Okay, forest. That's good. Um, I'm going to go Yoshin. Because with Yoshin, I can block the 3-3, three, three, take 2. If I play Tranquility, I save 2 life, but I still take 3. So by going for Yoshin, I'm saving myself at least, uh, you know, 2 life points. Oh, no! Unholy Strength! <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to take the damage. The good news here is, I mean, that Tranquility gets better and better. I'm gonna go for tranquility. And I think I'm gonna attack. Let's see what he does. Oh wow, okay. This is awesome. One, one, two, and let's do two here as well. There we go. Oh, this was better than I expected. This double block was exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, man, he's stealing my spider. You mean, man. That's a good thing to remember, of course. He's got animate debts, so... Hmm. He's pretty heavy on enchantments. Um, I guess we should go Cockatrice, right? Because then he can fly. I mean, he's got the spider, but he can only block once with that. Then it dies because of the Cockatrice effect. So I'm feeling good. At the start, I was really worried about, you know, getting mana screwed, but now it's working. Okay, got a Sylvan again. I still don't know how to feel about the Sylvan. Let me know in the comments. I'm probably doing, I feel like I'm doing something wrong with the Sylvan, how I'm using it, but let me first just play the thicket. Ooh, flying carpet. That's actually quite handy. Um, let's just attack with these two. Let's see what happens. Yeah, you can't regenerate from that. Um, let's go giant spider. Ooh, should have tapped differently. Stupid. And I could have played the asp as well. I sometimes forget that the way this this the computer taps is not great. It is not great. Okay, let's play the Sylvan. Let's just, you know, we're just gonna, you know what, I'm gonna attack with everything. Let's just see what happens. I've got the Grove, so. This is what I was hoping for. Go on the ocean. Wow, the ocean has done so much work this game. Uh, then let's go Asp. 
I guess I should have attacked with the factory as well. That was a bit stupid. Then it could have killed him actually, if it would have done that. Oh, look at this, Ella just flying. I love this, applause for the AI. Haha, <laughs> do it, man. Ella Josh is really unique and old school because it's got a built-in uh, spirit link mechanic, which is really unique. Um, let's go for it. Uh, put back. What are we gonna put back? The land. Um, put back. So we've got the spider. Um, Cockatrice, Thicket, you know what? We should just attack with everything. Or not with the Asp. Yeah, also with the Asp. Because I think he's got to block the bigger creatures. Yeah, he's got to do that. He's going to die anyway. Uh, take the dungeon clue, please. North of Aloran Hold. No instance or interrupts allowed. Life loss carried over. Bad moon permanently in effect. Ooh, so I really got to play Tranquility in there. Uh, trade black amulets for colorless cards. Mm. If you combine Thomas's want with the Asp, you can allow the Asp to attack unblocked and make the opponents pay extra. True. True. I'm going to buy it. Should I buy it? Wait, wait, wait. I should not buy it yet because I first want to buy this one. Oh, it's only 100. Amulet of Swamp Walk. A way to fly through the swamps unswallowed okay that's interesting but then I've got enough money to buy yes buy it and I think brass man is pretty good I'm gonna buy it um you know what I'm gonna save just to be on the safe side and let's see really close to the shrine so we're gonna go to the shrine travel north oh I gotta go to the ring of the guardian so I'm gonna travel north but first things first Oh, I'm so close. Let's see if there are any good... Oh, the Jalen Tome. Oh, I don't have the money. Oh, and a Colossus. Dang it, I don't have the money. If you seek the Mana Link. I know, I'm going to get the Mana I'm going to get the Mana Link. Are there any cards I can sell? Uh, oh, I already have four Colossuses. Okay. So basically, I want to get the Tome. Any cards I can sell. What does a Gaius Leech? One Gaius Leech. Uh, only 90. Yeah, I cannot sell the gem bazaar right away. It's too cool. Guardian Beast? 50? They're like paying nothing. You know what? I'm going to go to the next, but maybe when I come back, I'm going to buy it. But you guys, you guys pay nothing. Hey, he's pleased. Trade black amulets for any creature. Yeah, but I leave one black amulet. Kind of like my black amulet. I could sell one channel. La 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 One Inferno I could sell? I mean, Inferno you're only gonna play one, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to that other village and I'm gonna go north for the Ring of the Guardian, but first, let's go here, buy the tome. I mean, I'm still planning on making this deck with just a lot of like big creatures, and you know, mana ramp, and then the tome could be quite good, I think, in that deck. So, uh, begin a quest. He will reward you with a white amulet. Ooh, we need that. Allure and hold. Okay, where's Allure and hold? Okay. I mean, we need white amulets. They're too good to pass by. Why are they so good? Because of the sword. Ooh, the mind stealer. Duel the mind stealer. With the Mind Stealer, you can sometimes copy uh, cards in your deck, right? Mm, let's see, Yoshin Soldier, Forest, Force of Nature, that's not great in your opener. Factory, Forest, Giant Badger, Thicket, okay. So again, not really, ooh, we should have played Factory, Factory, Forest, Attack for two, stupid. Oh, sorry for the clock. It's quite close to the microphone. Sorry, sorry for that. Um, I need to. I really need to take more time to think about you know my moves. <laughs> I think I think that's a way for me to improve most as a magic player. Like just use more time 
Take your time. Uh, okay, we go forest. Uh, let's go giant badger. Giant badger hits for two, so that's good. Because he, I mean, he should have been on 14 right now instead of 16. Um, you know what? We're first going to attack and then we're going to play Yoshi. I'm really a fan of Yoshi Soldier. Like, I mean, three mana for a 1 4 that doesn't tap when it attacks. It's like great. Okay, so now we've got enough mana to attack for two. That's what I'm going to do and play a Yoshi. I mean, I could have also gone for Thicket, but I'm choosing to go a little bit more aggressive. Let's go for Yoshin. Ooh, Control Magic. That card's good, man. Um, now I'm really happy that I didn't play out the Thicket before. So now I go for Thicket, I think. Yeah, let's go for Thicket. Also gonna attack. Should have attacked first, by the way, and then played a thicket. I really want to get that white amulet and then try to get that ring. So I gotta travel north for the ring. Hey, a phantom. That is such a good card. Three, three flyer. Hmm, what is wisdom? I think I should only attack with these two. Oh, stupid. Of course, it's going to double block. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> oh, God. Why did. I mean, it's pretty obvious that he would do this. Uh, one point left. Whatever. 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 Stupid. Uh, the good news is I've got another Yoshi. But I think I'm going to go for double Lanawer because then I can play. A, yeah. Or oh, I could do both, actually. I don't have to choose. This is not a bad turn, and next turn I can play a uh, Force of Nature. I'm a little bit worried about counter magic though, so maybe I should wait for him to tap out and then play the Force. Unholy Strength, ay ay ay, this is it. This is a problem. Uh, I'm gonna attack with the Thicket. Let's see what he does. You know, I feel like with that, what shall I do? Hmm, I should have attacked with everything. I could have won the game already. I really need to just take my time to assess the situation before attacking. Ah, unbelievable. Wow, that, that's one big phantom. I do think Unholy Strength is a little bit underestimated. Yes, you're setting yourself up for two for one, you know. Um, but again, if you time it right, you have like a guaranteed two points of extra bonus. And if they don't have an answer to it, you know, your opponent has a serious problem. Um, ooh, Tranquility is funny. Uh, but I don't need a Tranquility because I can win. Let's go. We're just going to do Alpha Strike. Attack with everything. That's it. Take the clue. Okay, contains small black creatures. Okay. Hey, want a black amulet. That's pretty sweet. Um, Wait, where am I supposed to go again? Go east, right? Uh, change anti-card. I don't want to lose my badger. Start the duel. Forest again, Force of Nature. Old Art, I like it. Um, the Asp, the Giant Grove, Lunar Elves, War Mammoth. This is pretty good. I'm gonna go for Asp because I don't have a turn, don't have any play for three mana anyway. So I wanna go Asp, put pressure on, play Lanawer next turn. Let's first attack, see what he does. 
He goes, nothing, nothing, I tell you. Then we play Lonerer. Next turn, we can go War Mammoth one turn early. This is looking good. I'm liking it so far. I have to say, this 40 card mono green, I like it. A mind twist, you dirty, dirty dog. Um, wow, twisting away my giant growth, that's bad. I don't like you very much. Um, let's go War Mammoth because that's got three power. Let's attack. Ooh, he's gonna pay with the life. Felwer Stone. Forest. Almost have enough to start playing that force. Let's attack. Go giant spider. Pass the turn. Oh man, control magic, that's good. Ooh, I can play force of nature. Oh, oh sweet. Force is relevant. I love it. Okay, let's attack with these dudes. Even if he has a uh, control magic, he's going to die from the force because of the upkeep cost. So that's pretty sweet. Junan Efreet. Really cool creature. Uh, pay upkeep cost, I guess. One, two, three, and four. Let's see, he's on five. I think probably if I just attack with everything, he can only block two. And I've got the assembly worker, so I think I should just attack with everything. Here we go, people. Hey! Oh, Royal Assassin! Oh! But I'm not going to play with uh, with black. But I am going to take the card. I can sell them. Got to take the card. Ah, oh, can I? Going to take the cards. Take the cards. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't want to go into there yet. Yay, you're rewarded with a white amulet. Oh, but it, oh, that city's under attack. So now I've got to go and free that city, that kind of sucks. Oh, Trike! Got the Trike. Trike's quite good. Um, Buy some food. Leave the village. Gotta travel north, right? To Hornwall Mill. But first I gotta duel this dude. Change the ante. Ooh, a thicket. Force of nature or a thicket. Obviously you'd rather have a force, but I think it is so good. Uh, okay, start the duel. What do I have? Cockatrice, giant spider, asp, giant badger. Okay, I'm happy with this. Go forest, go asp. Next turn, go factory. Turn three, giant badger. I think giant badger is my ideal, like, three drop, I think. I like the badger. Um, let's attack. Play another Asp. Let's go Forest. Um, let's first attack and then we go play Giant Badger. <laughs> I mean, this is really nice because now he gets like a double Asp counters. I mean, he can pay for them, but still. Ooh, look at that. He's not playing out anything. Like, this is ideal. Gonna hit him for four. Oh, wait. No, I gotta play something out. No, stop. I wanna play. No, I... Oh. Me and the enter button. It's really bad. Like, click, 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 click. Stop doing that. I should have cast War Mammoth. This could be a pricey mistake. Oh, 
Or not. If he just keeps playing out nothing, then it's fine. Does he have to discard? He's got eight cards in hand. Oh, he's got a... Oh, no, he's going to cast it. Yeah, so this is really bad. Like, I had an attack lined up now. If I would have cast a War Mammoth last turn, I could have just attacked this turn. Now I've got nothing going for me, so... I mean, I don't want to... I could attack with all three creatures. Is that worth it? I'm thinking, like, I'm going to then lose my Badger, which is a great blocker. Mm, I'm not going to attack. I'm just going to pass. I mean, the thing is, then he would have taken two damage from the Asps, and he would have gotten two counters again. It would set him back two mana, but... Yeah, I still had the mana untapped and stuff. Okay. Destroy something black. That's fine. Uh, ooh, the lure is nice. But the Cockatrice, unfortunately, flies. Uh, I'm going to attack with the Cockatrice. I'm going to play the War Mammoth or Spider. I'm going to go for War Mammoth. Pass a turn. Like, the thing is, he's on nine. So... With that lure on the ass, for example, I can already deal three, six, eight points points of damage. Oh, and if I then also attack with the factory, I can actually win next turn. Unless he plays something out. Oh, to green. Oh, look at him go. Oh, no. Don't do it. Oh, he's going to destroy one of my creatures. Um, I think it gets the bonus, right? Yeah. Oh, he didn't understand the bonus. You fool. Um, let me think. I've got two, four, six, eight damage on the board. Um, let's go. Let's do that. Let's attack. Um, and then play Giant Spider. Oh, he dies of the Asp. Oh, that is so funny. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take the Dungeon Clue again. Take the Clue. Azar Script. A Regrowth is pretty good. Force feels pretty good. Okay, okay. Ivory Cup. Okay. Um, and I freed the city. Okay, I've, I've got to go north for like everything, I feel. Black Amulet for any shamans, Ornithopter, Bettering Ram, no thank you. Ooh, it's expensive. You're 10 food for 25 gold, so people told me if it's expensive, you got to start selling your stuff. Sell for 100. It's 100 is not that much. Uh, 320, yes. Uh, I'm going to leave the village. I'm going to go north. Let's just go. I think I think up north I can find the other world magics. Let's do it. Another mind stealer. Um, sure, duel. Play first. Mm, do I want a mulligan? I'm actually fine. I can start the duel. Okay, I got four as. I mean, I don't have a turn one play, but I got thicket and cockatrice in hand. Now I'm going to go start with Factory, so next turn I can attack with the Factory. Hit him for two. Okay, so we're going to animate, change to Assembly Worker. And we're going to attack. We're going to pass. Forest. Change to assembly worker. I mean, the problem is he's, he can block and regenerate. I know, but I still want to attack. You know, the computer sometimes make, makes mistakes. And I actually also do this in, in, in real matches. So it's like, okay, you've got the maze. Use the maze. I'm just going to attack. Sometimes they don't see it. Sometimes they use it, but then after that you play Time Walk or you've got another removal spell. It's just always good, you know, to keep it interesting. Um, forest, I can go... I can go Yoshin, I guess. 
Let's go Yoshin, let's go. Next turn I can go Thicket or Cockatrice. Ooh, my Stealer has to discard, I like it. Uh, let's go Thicket. Let's attack, like this combat effect is doing nothing. He's gonna regenerate, pass. I do like Siren Skull. I think it's a cool card. Like you're forcing your opponent to do something is usually a good thing in magic. Uh, Unholy Strength. Yeah, this is good. The problem for him though is that he's gonna take a lot of damage. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna go Cockatrice. I'm gonna go Cockatrice. Pass the turn. Ooh, I could go Tranquility. Take care of that uh, Unholy Strength. If I do, I can also attack. Got a Giant Grove. Let's see, if I play this, I can attack and get five and eight. So I can't kill him. Hmm. You know, since I cannot kill him, I think... I'm going to go for Giant Spider and then should actually attack first, but attack with these. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't see that coming. He's making it easy for me. Let's go Forest. Uh, he's on eight, so I can just animate this one. And attack and finish the game. I think unless he's got some kind of fog, maybe a darkness. Okay. Uh, take the dungeon clue. Contains small blue creatures north of Blood Sand Forge. Ooh, I get a duplicate card. Yes. That is cool. Does he have a berserk though? Oh, this is my collection. So out of my collection, I get a duplicate card. Hmm. What to get? That's the big question. I'm tempted to go for Sheevan Dragon. I could go for the Mox, of course. Get another Mox. Like a Mox Jet. But I'm not going to play with Black. But Mox Jet can still be good, I guess. Uh, an Ivory Tower. Maybe I should double up on Towers. I think I'm going to double up on Towers. Maybe you're wondering why, because like life gain, you need a lot of life gain when you go. Oh no! Oh, almost dodged them. Did you see that? But what I want to say, like you need a lot of life gain in the in the dungeons. Duel the Merfolk Shaman. Giant Badger, Giant Grove, Mishra's Factory, and a lot of forests. Okay, so I can go. Factory turn one, turn two, forest attack for two. Even more mana, okay, so. I got a lot of lands, a badger, and a, and a growth. <laughs> That's what I have. Oh, Lord of Atlantis, look who joined the party. Gonna take a beating here, okay, drop two. Mm. I'm gonna pass, I'm not gonna attack. Oh, wow. Oh, this is painful. Wow, okay. Uh, change assembly worker. I can block. Now it can pump itself. So at least I don't take that two extra damage, but... Um, okay, so I could actually do a few things. I can keep Giant Growth online so I can kill one of the two creatures. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, I think I'm not going to play anything. I'm just going to keep the Giant Growth option open. Oh, and that Life Tap is going to give him so much life. Another Life Tap? <laughs> Oh, I should have actually a animated uh, my factory in response. Uh, okay, he's gonna gain a life. 
Uh, blockers block. Play giant growth. I mean, maybe I should have gone for the Lord. I don't know. I don't want to take another hit of four. Oh man, he's going to gain two life now every time I tap a forest. This is insane. Oh man. Um... You know what? I'm just going to give him a lot of life. I'm just going to give him six life here. I don't care. I'm just going to... Whatever. No! This is brilliant. Unsummon. Well done. Well done. Oh, God. This, this is why I love Chandler. Really. This is why I really love Chandler. Like these weird scenarios that usually you never run into. I mean, who plays double life tap main? Nobody does. Um... Life tap would be really good if it would also work for your own forest. Then it would be kind of broken, I guess. Oh, it's going to turn into a forest. Of course. Uh, let's go forest. Uh, I'm going to attack. At least deal some damage. Hey, I'm going to play a badger. He's going to gain so much life. I'm going to play a Yoshin soldier. I mean, look at his life total. It's on 38. 38. This is pretty problematic. Uh, I'm just going to keep playing forests. Who cares? Uh, I'm actually going to attack with the badger, offering him the trade. He's taking it. Um, should I play the asp? That would. That's going to cost me two life. I'm not going to. I mean, he only has two cards in his hand, but he's on 34. That's a big problem. Um, let's just attack. You know what? I am going to play the Asp. I should have done it last turn. Because it's another thing to hit him with. Like, yes, he gains two life for 1-1, one, one, but he's not playing anything out. I can I just keep attacking him. I'm a little bit afraid of an acid rain, so I'm going to keep the forests in my hand. And I've got enough lands anyway, but I mean, why would I need an extra forest? Look at that, he's on 27. Oh, an island fish! Oh, that is so cool. Oh, an island fish. Oh, man. Prop, this is a really good blocker. I've got a big problem. Um. Ooh. There's nothing I can do here, just pass turn. I need a flyer. Oh, look at that, okay. Shall we give him some more life? Let's give him some more life. Let's give him some more life, why not? It is funny. Now this island fist will slowly die, like it's on a 10 turn clock, that's kind of funny, because of the unstable. <laughs> oh, the games you play, the games you play, uh, let's pass. I mean, in theory, I could just attack with all creatures, lose one, deal some damage, but I mean, he's on 41, that's not going to really help. Spider, uh, you know what, I'm just going to play, I'm just going to play it all out, I don't care. The only thing I worry about now is that, you know, when the board gets clogged up, the AI and the computer gets the, the program starts to glitch more and more. So I'm a little worried about that. Island fish, another island fish. Oh, a lure. This lure actually. Okay, I'm going to pass. I'm going to hope uh, that I draw into a thicket basilisk because that can save us here. If it can find a thicket, put a lure on it, attack. I mean, that could work. I think Island Fish, I think they should have given it uh, an unsummon. Okay, whatever. I think they should have given the Island Fish just Island Walk and not that Island Home Clause. Uh, I'm just going to play War Mammoth War. again. I don't care. You go, you go up. Look at that. 57 live. Insane. Yeah. 
Fantasmal terrain. Oh no, 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 no. He's gonna give me an islet. Oh, this is really bad. He's gonna attack. Um, it doesn't have trample, does it? Um, you know, my friend, the Asp, you've done a great service. Ooh, I got double giant growth. I can use that to kill a creature, actually. Um, wait a minute. Let me think. Let me think. I could put a lure on a creature. I could give a double giant growth. Problem is, even with double giant growth, I cannot kill the island fish and the Lord of Atlantis. That's the problem. If he... Yeah. No, I'm just going to pass. Oh, this is bad. Okay, so I have to play the lure. Um, let's see, what's a creature that I don't mind losing that much? I guess on the spider I can give it eight and I can kill the leviathan and... Or on the war mammoth, I could give it nine. It's not enough anyway. With nine damage, I can kill these two and then I've got four damage left. Um, yeah, so it's not enough anyway, so might as well do the spider. I'm gonna go for the spider. I guess I should then, then just attack with everything, right? Because I can block with the Yoshins on the crackback anyway. Let's do that. Okay, so we're gonna attack. I think I'm only going to play one giant growth because with that giant growth, I can kill both of those creatures anyway. Let's do that. Okay, let's have a look here. Okay, go little mousey. Uh, fast effects assign damage done. Five points. One, two, three, and one and two. Let's play the asp. I can use that as a jump blocker and pass turn. I mean, hey, I'm trying to make the best out of it. I think I'm doing an okay job in not dying, personally. Um, let's see. We're gonna attack with everything. Why not? Um, yeah, why not? We're gonna play Giant Spider. Let's see, he's going to attack with a 6-8. Um, 4-7. Ah, oh, the 8s. I can just not... I uh, should have kept maybe the War Mammoth unblocked. I think I'm going to go to two people. I think I'm just going to take the damage. Should I? Hmm... He's played that Lord of Atlantis. Uh, I gotta block it. It's too risky to let it go. Um, what to do? He's gonna attack next turn. Then I'm gonna double block with the growth on. So I think that this turn I can attack with the Yoshin and the Spider. I mean, at least it's a damage. Uh, and I'm going to play the Asp. He's going to gain more life. <laughs> oh, this game. This game. It's an O2. It's not like a merchant ship. Island fish merchant ship. Oh, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. No! What to planes? Why to planes? Why would you do that? Okay. Um, there's the attack. Fast effects assign attackers. Did he just kill his own fish, by the way? Um, what am I going to do? I feel like I got to kill the Lord of Atlantis because it's kind of risky because it gives island walk. So I'm going to...
Choose blockers. Oh, it's tapped. Stupid me. I'm so stupid. Um, I'm going to do it this way because I don't want to use my giant growth. I'm going to keep my growth. This was a pretty good deal, right? I mean, War Mammoth for the uh, Lord of Atlantis. Oh, force of nature, but I got to tap the mana. So he's going to gain eight and I can hit him for eight. That's so funny because it got the upkeep cost. <laughs> So I'm not going to play that one. Uh, I am going to attack with this dude. If I can find my tranquility, I'm fine. I just need my tranquility. If he's going to attack, I can kill him. No, why do you unsummon? Why do you do this? Oh, I was so close. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna block. Whatever, man. I'm not gonna do it. Put me on two. Oh, this is so annoying. Please don't unsummon anything anymore. That's so annoying. Okay. Choose blockers. Let's put everything in front of the bus. Everything, and then we're gonna go giant grove. Hey, this worked. I'm happy. Let's attack. Okay, so I only need 21 more turns and he's dead. <laughs> this is, oh man. Oh, this game, this game is killing me. Ooh, a factory, that's good. So this is super scary right now because if he draws into a Lord of Atlantis, I'm dead because he's got the Merfolk of the Pearl Trident and I have an island. So this is like super risky uh, situation. Don't draw a Lord, don't draw a Lord, don't draw a Lord. He's thinking about it. Okay, another Merfolk, okay? I can, I can live with that. Oh, Tranquility! Yes, finally! Yes! Oh, it is so cool to see, by the way, how good Tranquility is in this game. Like, outside of Magic, Tranquility is a sideboard card at most. Like, in real life, I mean, outside of this game. Uh, but in here, it's super good. Um, I'm first going to attack. Okay, I'm gonna go Force of Nature, but I don't want to pay... I want to keep my uh, factory untapped. Okay, here we go. Pass turn. I can do it. Yeah, of course we're gonna pay the upkeep cost, or else I die to pay upkeep cost. Tap four, okay, okay, sure, man. Let's do the factories on on the side here. There we go. Okay, we got a thicket. Mm, force, Yoshin, Spider. Let's see if we can deal some damage. Go thicket, one, two, three, four, five. And yes, I should have attacked with the factories. I mean, he's on 50, but I'm feeling good. Oh, unstable, okay. Attacking with that. Um, you know what, I'm just gonna block on the thicket. So that's paid for, hey, the Sylvan. Uh, let's go, animate, change to assembly worker. Change to assembly worker. And now we're gonna attack. Hey, 
35. We're getting somewhere. Big upkeep cost. There we go. Fast effects, let's go Sylvan. Put it back in the library. That one, put it back in the library. That one. Uh, let's go Whirling Dervish. Let's change the assembly worker. Change the assembly worker. A lot of clicking. Let's attack, but he's still on 35, but now, now we've got some pace going. So we can deal 6, 7, 13 damage. Hey, he's back on 20. He's back on his starting life total. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> I'm wearing a blue shirt today. I should actually wear a green shirt. I just realized that. Uh, force of nature. Okay, let's pay upkeep cost. And this is still pretty scary because next turn, if he draws a phantasmal terrain, I'm dead. I'm still dead. Uh, okay, done. Sylvan. Done. Uh, put back this one. Put back this one. Done. So I'm going to draw Cockatrice. Okay. Uh, combat. Why am I not animating the factories? Ah. Uh, I just need to attack with everything I have. Like as soon as he's got, like I said, if he's got a Phantasmal. Oh, he's gonna kill my Yoshin. Okay. I didn't realize that, that he could kill it. Hey, did I already click on that? That it was the end of my turn? I didn't realize that. Uh, okay. Uh-oh. For a moment there, I thought that computer glitched. Hey, but this is pretty good for me. Hey, I love making that trade. I don't mind. That was weird. I mean, all of a sudden it was his turn, so I probably just made a mistake. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, this pirate ship. But I think I can kill him next turn. So I've got the force. Well, he can, yeah, then he has to block next turn. Okay, so I think I'm safe. I think I'm safe. Uh, pay the upkeep cost. Done. Draw face. Put back. This one. Hey, but look at that. Now I do see, look at three cards. So how come one time I can see only two cards, the other time I can see three cards? Why? Um, I should just attack. I should just attack. I think I've got this one, unless it's gonna unsummon. Yeah, yes! Take the clue, take the clue. Contains small blue creatures north of Blood Sand Forge. Okay. Good, good. Um, that's it, I'm just gonna stop for now. Thank you so much for watching. I think it was an excellent run. Uh, I mean, look at all the hints that we got. And uh, I think next time I'm definitely gonna go on another dungeon run. So please join me again next week and then I'm going to go on a dungeon run for sure. Um, for now, thank you very much for watching. Before you go, please leave a like, uh, write a comment, share it on all your socials. Help make Timmy big. That would be really appreciated. And talking about that, you can also become a patron of the show. Check out patreon.com slash timmytalks for all the details. And now let's go to the end scroll of this video. <laughs> of course, got to save first. And now we can go.
Sumba Kazik.